Hello again, campaigners. It's the holiday. Thought it'd be nice this time to give you a really short video. So this week we're going to take some paint, water, white glue, and basic flock, and create some moss to give your builds a little more texture. We'll jump right into it after the bump. Thanks for coming to Campaign Terrain. This is version one, paint only. We're gonna start with paint, any color you want, but typically moss is green, but you can be making a fantasy world or whatever. So I'm gonna take paint, small brush. You could opt for a bigger brush if you want or if you have to cover a lot of ground. But I'm going for a small one. You want just a little bit of water. That's way too much. Just a little bit. We're not making a wash with this. We're just watering it down. Now, you want to start, this is the top of the wall. You want to start down near the bottom and Pretty much just get it into the recesses and down along that bottom edge. And you don't necessarily want it everywhere. Now you can do a couple other patches here and there. And you really want this blotchy and you don't want it all that dark. May have used too bright a green, but it'll all work all right. And if I really wanted to, I could mix some yellow onto it or a little bit of brown. That's it. Just put a few smidges here and there. My grandmother would love hearing me use the word smidge. That's it, that's version number one. Not my favorite, but it will work, and it's super cheap, and it's super quick. I'm gonna hit the back sides of both of these walls just so I have all my demos covered, and I'll be right back to show you version number two. Method number two, gluing it on. You want regular PVA for this. We are gonna water it just a tiny bit, just to make sure that it flows out and doesn't make clumps of moss, but you don't really want this watered down like half and half. So, once again, Take one of each of my two examples from last week. Got the tip of this just a little bit dampened. Put PVA glue where you want the moss. Again, I usually go for the bottom layer of bricks or so and a couple little patches here and there. So on this, you want it patchy. You don't want it to just follow the lines. So I'm gonna put some down here near the bottom, spread it around. And you can use any color you want. Go for a fantasy color if you want, under dark color, anything like that. This is my catch-all mixed color of fine flock. So this is just a bunch of greens and a couple of tans. Then I'm gonna take this and lightly, you don't want this clumped on like foliage, just lightly. That's it, that's good to go. So I'm gonna finish up both sides of this. So you can, again, you have the examples at the end. Then I'll be back to show you version number three. Third and last version, paste. Just like it sounds, we're gonna take a little bit of glue. That's probably about enough for two different walls. We take the flocking, put it straight into the glue. And you want this kind of thick. Now you can use whatever you want to smear this with. Dry brush, wet brush, hook or some type of needle tool, sculpting tool, whichever you want. I'm going to use this little sculpting spatula here. And as you can see, I'm going to keep it kind of thick. 
So that's a little too thin. It's got the glue in it, so add a little more flock to that. But you still want it to be sticky, so you don't want it too thick. As you can see, I've got a nice green paste right there. And I can just take that and wherever I want to put it, I can take and smear in. Now this allows me to put it right where I want it. I'm not going to get it in any place I don't. Uh, but you, on this, you do, you do not want to just spread it on like an icing. You don't want it nice and smooth and creamy. You want chunks. You want this to be moss growing places. You don't want this to look like uh, it's been smeared on or painted on. You want this to look like it's grown in all the little nooks and crevices. So, as you can see, it just smears on like that. Rough it up a little if you think it looks too smooth. Take your little pesto looking paste here and squeeze it into the nooks and crannies where you think it looks good. Okay, again, I'm going to finish up the third one of these and I'm going to leave them overnight to dry. Next time you see me, it'll be tomorrow and all these will be dry and I'll show you what they look like in scale next to one of my little figurines. Be right back. There you have it, pretty simple. Put the green where you need it, or whichever color you choose. Simple moss makes all your projects look like they've been lived in, like they're actually existing, like they haven't just been built and thrown onto the table. That comes to the culmination of my dais build as well. I've got the vines on it, I've got the moss on it. I specifically didn't put any moss on the little panel. Hopefully that'll be a cue for my players to figure out that there's no moss there. So that's it, short one for you. And uh, that's it, this is the last one for the end of the year. Thank you for coming to Campaign Terrain. Thanks for putting up with me for these last seven months. And I hope to see you for all 12 of 2021. So please, like, share, subscribe, catch me on social media, and I'll see you in the new year. And I hope 2021 is better for all of us. Thanks so much for Kim coming to Campaign Terrain. My name is That Guy Cross. I love you, and until next time, I wish you luck in your campaign.